Welcome to Naples, Italy. We start our journey today up top Mount Vesuvius. What a climb. In the year 79 AD, Vesuvius erupted in one of the most catastrophic eruptions of all time. The volcano ejected a cloud of stones, ash, volcanic gases, and molten rock, ultimately releasing 100,000 times the thermal energy released by the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings. The city of Pompeii was destroyed, buried under tens of meters of ash and rock fragments. We visit it next. Vesuvius is still regarded as an active volcano, although its current activity produces little more than sulfur-rich steam from vents at the bottom of the walls of the crater. It wouldn't be right if we didn't find a geocache while we're up here, and there are some, and we're on the hunt. We're very close. It's in the wall. Lyric Glass looks like she's getting close. I'm hoping you say, oh, there it is. I would love to say those words. <laughs> so uh, looking at the satellite view, we think it's a little lower on the next path down. So we're going to check the wall out there. And it does say it's in a wall. Oh, <laughs> well, it's like quite obvious. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> that's a cool container, though. I'd say that's a regular one. Uh, yeah, it's on the verge. Oh, it's a can. metal. Oh, it's a can. I yeah. thought it was uh, 3D printed. Oh, cool. Oh, looks like an oldie. Nice. against time to get to ground zero of the earth cache because we only have so much time up top and we got to get 300 meters fairly quickly to get a photo from ground zero and answer some of the questions. Okay. We made it. We made it all the way to the top of Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, all the way to the end of the path, and we got information for the Earth cache. And now we have to go down, all the way down to the bottom. Now we're in the great city of Pompeii, among all the ruins that were buried in ash in 79 AD. We're hoping to get some geocaches while we're here. There's about six that we could get, but likely, because we're on a tour, we might get one, maybe two if we're lucky, but we can show you the sights while we're here of the great city of Pompeii. So here we are in the amphitheater, it could hold about 5,000 people. Some of it is original, except for the pieces at the top. Only the white pieces, the marble, are original. The other parts were replaced because it suffered bombing during World War II. 
but still an impressive facility. Oh my gosh. It was like right in the hole. <laughs> right there. Yeah. We escaped a little bit from the tour to get the geocache. And it was right in the hole, like uh, the blue quasar said. It was a good find. Yeah. Awesome. I'm glad you were here. <laughs> I'm glad I was here too. <laughs> The tour continued and we were in awe. Paintings and frescoes adorned wall after wall after wall. The scale of the city struck you, and what we were seeing was only a fraction of what has been uncovered. The mosaic tiles of this residence were astounding. We passed by the virtual, the bake ovens, and were able to claim it as found. We're right at this intersection, we're at an earth cache. This is ground zero, and it talks about the raised stones in the center, and it has about four questions for this earth cache. So we got at least three geocaches. In the streets, these were incredible to see. Tracks laid down over 2,000 years ago, over and over the same place, carving grooves into the rock of the pathway. We thank you for joining us here in Naples as we toured Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii and gathered some geocaches. We hope to see you again on our journeys. Where will geocaching take you?